Hello lovely people, welcome back to another studio vlog or hello if you're new, thank you so so much for being here. I'm going to keep the intro quite short because it's pouring it down with rain outside and it's quite loud so I'm not going to chat for too long because the noise is probably just a bit too much. So the first thing I'm going to do is pack up some orders because I launched a second sale of my enamel pins, just ones that have minor imperfections and I can't really sell at full price. Um, like I'm not just, I'm just not like 100% happy with them. I've had a few orders for those so that's really lovely and so I'm going to pack those up um, and get those out because there's a couple of raw mail strikes coming up at the end of the week and I want to get them out. Yeah, just ASAP really. So I'm going to do that and then I'll catch you up with something very exciting that happened today um, and I'm feeling very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, I'll pack the orders and then I'll have a little catch up with you. quite a lot later now I have had a really successful day which I'm so grateful for um these all need to be shipped out um well I'll, I'll sort the shipping in a minute and then they'll oh I can't even hold my camera straight um yeah I'll ship them out for like the first collection tomorrow um so yeah thank you so much if you supported the second sale um, it will be over by the time this video goes out, but I did add a link in last week's video. So thank you so much if you're one of those that purchased. Yeah, I'm going to have a catch up with you tomorrow though, because I am exhausted and I need to add the shipping label, uh, ladles, labels. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. So it's been a busy couple of days. I'm obviously very, very grateful. Um, but I didn't expect the second pin sale to do as well as it has. It's been amazing and I'm so, so grateful because... I just wanted to sit down and have a chat about my plans for Christmas because I'm doing things slightly differently this year purely because of raw mail strikes and things and I have decided to give myself a longer period of time off to catch up on some sleep that is very much needed and just rest in general like try and like switch off properly I haven't been feeling my best recently um some of you know I do have some chronic health conditions and I've been finding them harder to manage recently. This business keeps me so so happy and 
and like encouraged and positive and things like if I didn't have this I'd I feel like I'd be in quite a bad place like it has really changed everything for me and I'm so so grateful but I still have my struggles even though I do love doing this yeah I I would like to have some time to switch off over Christmas maybe a couple of weeks before Christmas um, because obviously the Christmas period is busy with seeing family and friends and things like that but I really want some time to maybe film a couple of YouTube videos and maybe sort out the office properly because it's just been in a cycle of work mess tidy work mess tidy and majoritively mess like it's it's been a lot and a bit too much to deal with like I'm constantly in a mess at the moment even though I did tidy last week it's still a little bit messy again so yeah I think that's my it's my time to kind of change the office around a bit and um yeah I I just need the time so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my Etsy shop for the first time in ages I can't remember the last time I closed my Etsy shop actually normally I just extend shipping times but I think I'm actually gonna close I'm gonna focus on updating a few listings because I did a wonderful zoom call um, about product descriptions and it was super super helpful it's really given me that kind of push to change my descriptions and actually work on things a bit more because normally I leave things till last minute and then it just yeah it's a bit of a rush description <laughs> so I plan on doing that but yeah I just want to take the pressure off myself so closing my shop will mean that I don't have to worry about orders coming through I don't have the stress of orders not arriving during the Christmas period because of raw mail strikes so yeah but I had a really exciting email um at the beginning of the week I have been meaning to update you about this because it's very very exciting I have been accepted to be monetized on YouTube, which is insane. Um, I've been making videos for two and a half years now. Obviously, I never started my channel to, to make money. That was never the reason behind me making it. I wanted to document my journey and be able to look back on things and just share my business and my life kind of as a business owner to those that want to do the same or... I just wanted to have an honest journey that people could maybe relate to and I've been accepted to be monetized which is I just can't believe it I mean it's going to be pennies because I don't get you know crazy views but I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos because this could help me continue this for longer because it costs me money to make YouTube videos I pay for my editing software which I think is around 20 pounds a month i think i use adobe premiere pro so if i can just cover that that would be the best um so yeah I, I i feel like you might already have adverts when you watch my videos but i don't currently make any anything for those adverts i think youtube just pop them on there because when my husband has like checked things on his youtube channel there's an advert that come up so i'm assuming a lot of you do already but please know that i will be hopefully making a few pennies from that which yeah it would just support my art journey and mean that I can do this for longer and all you have to do is watch the video or you, I don't know I don't know how it works I'm not I'm not sure but just keep doing what you're doing please keep supporting me and enjoy my content if I hope you enjoy my content I mean if you're watching it you probably enjoy it but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much because even though it's a bit of a weird subject to talk about like you know being monetized on YouTube and stuff and I know it can cause a lot of like controversy controversy I suppose um but this is supporting me so much and even though I haven't had my first payment I don't even know what it's going to be it's something and every penny really really helps um so yeah thank you so so much I don't remember how much I shared of order packing um I think I got a little bit carried away and just packed them off of camera so I think there's a couple of orders on there um that you would have watched already and um I'm just trying to work out what I want to do for the rest of the week because now I actually think I'm done I'm not working towards anything like I said I think I said in a couple like a couple of weeks ago that I wasn't working towards anything and then I remembered I had a market but I think this is actually the time where I don't need to work towards anything but quickly while i'm blabbing on for seven minutes excuse me i've got hiccups i have some happy mail to share with you from the lovely denise from crafty microbes i bought this from i think it was, i think it was a small biz celebration market it might have been the e hearts market i'm not 100 percent sure 
let me show you so firstly i got a lovely note and this was actually on pecker paper with a little willow kind of um albino pygmy hedgehog sticker which is adorable so thank you so much denise that really warmed my heart in here we've got a little thank you card wait is this my tissue paper I feel like Denise, I know Denise reuses a lot of things, so I feel like that's my tissue paper as well. So firstly, there's the little thank you card, and we got a little freebie snowflake and froggy sticker, which is adorable, and it's like held on with this little peg. How cute is that? And then, this is what I ordered, because if you know me, I love Winnie the Pooh, I say it all the time, I am obsessed. <laughs> How cute is this this is going to go on the office tree but it was one of those things that i just had to get and it's absolutely stunning it's a hand crocheted winnie the pooh bauble i love it so much and it's really solid i'm wondering if there's an actual ball under there maybe like a polystyrene ball or something but yeah i i love it it's absolutely adorable and it came in like a starry pouch as well so thank you so so much denise i really had to just share this on here and share your wonderful talent because it's incredible and i just love it it makes me so happy so yeah that's everything i wanted to share with you and talk about right now um it feels good to have a little catch up and chat with you because i've been meaning to for the last couple of days and i just haven't done it but um yeah that's that's how i'm feeling if you wanted to get any orders in i think when this video goes out that'll probably be one of the last days that you can order from my shop until probably the new year which is really weird to say and a little bit scary but i think it's really needed so yeah anyway thank you so much for listening to me blab on i will catch you in the next clip i'm, I'm hoping that i could design um like a YouTube banner because I don't like my one, to put it simply. I'm thinking I need to draw peck of vlogging. Like with the I can't show you because you're you're there. But um that sounded weird. I mean the camera is obviously on the tripod, so I can't show you the camera. Um <laughs> so yeah, I think I could do that, but we will see. You'll see what I'm doing next. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've been planning a YouTube banner. I don't really like the one I've got at the moment. I've only ever had two in the two years that I've been doing it and I felt like I just kind of threw them together because I didn't have any ideas. But last night I had a few ideas for a YouTube banner and I kind of collected them here on this page. This is kind of the idea I came up with in the end. Um, but first we started with a little vlogging pecker. I was gonna try and do it with my logo but I really struggle with people and I didn't want to put too much pressure on it but as much as this is absolutely adorable I I love Pekka so so much but I've spoken about it a few times how sometimes he becomes a little bit too prominent in the business and my business almost becomes about him rather than the other things that I do but I really wanted to keep him kind of in the design so I decided to go oh I decided to go with the kind of welcome flag so this will be pekka's arm and um, it kind of brings him in for those that know pekka without him being like the face of the banner if that makes sense i thought that i could draw a little illustration of my ipad because i feel like that could really explain more about me in the banner and then down here is kind of where i've done everything so i was thinking i might do a washi tape piece of paper like attached in the middle with the welcome off to the side a few stars and bubbles like i do on my uh, thumbnails for the studio vlogs and then pop the 
iPad over here and I have actually redrawn the banner so just a little bit clearer and I'm thinking I might add a few little bits so the scissors, a washi tape, a envelope um, and that will have like a little kind of logo sticker on it and then like a little squiggle inside the iPad. I just feel like it it's simple but it explains more about me and what I do and like the things that I share on here and I think it could be really cute. Um, so we're gonna have a go at like drawing these illustrations properly now and that way I can then build it together on Photoshop in the correct dimensions. So yeah, I think it looks really, really sweet. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I know some of you probably loved the vlogging Pekka, but yeah, there's just so much thought and reason behind not doing it. Um, so yeah, I really hope you like this. It'll probably change a little bit because it always does, but yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay, so I have suddenly got quite tired, but this is how far we are. Um, these ones are still sketches. This one is finished here. Well, these are like finis finished sketches. I need to colour them and change like the brownie colour so that it looks more like this, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I did expect to get a little bit more done, but I'm not going to rush it. I really want it to look right. So we're going to continue this next week. Let me just turn you around. So yeah, we're going to continue next week because I'm just tired suddenly and um, I think it's like that Friday, it's the end of the week, you know. So yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the studio vlog this week. It's been a bit more chatty, a little bit more kind of, I don't know, just slightly different. It feels like it's been different this week, but over the next few weeks I'm just going to be getting on with things that have been at the bottom of my to-do list um, or keep getting pushed down to the bottom of my to-do list. So hopefully... I still have lots to be sharing with you, but um, there just won't be any order packing um, because the shop will be shutting literally the day after this video goes out. So yeah, if you want to get any last minute orders in, please do. Um, they'll be posted on the 7th. That is my last shipping day for the year, probably, which is just crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this week's studio vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I wish you guys the loveliest day and I will speak to you next week. Bye.